church leaders. This is that a challenge to all of us? I don't think I look, I don't think I appear so old. Do I appear so old? Even on this platform here, I don't appear so old. True or false? Is this a fact? No. So I think I can be able to inspire all of us. No. I should be able to inspire. Are you able to believe me that I can inspire you? And I also speak as a student because I'm a PhD student. I'm almost through with my PhD. So I'll also inspire you as a student. Uh, from what the principal uh, uh, gave us part of my profile, I did my undergraduate, and I want to say here that uh, I was not uh, that uh, a great student. Parents, you know we are all parents, no? For those who are parents who are representing the, the graduates here. We have a great student and we have average students. I will say, under CASNEP, when I was doing CASNEP, I think I was an average student. Kuna subjects that you can do in Zumbua, and you can refer, and you can refer section, and you can refer to the section, and you can refer to the section, and you can So today, I'm seated on the same high table with the CASNEP, and I'm saying, oh, this is the CASNEP. This is the CASNEP. I think today I may say CASNEP is not that feared like during my days. My days, you fail one unit, you repeat the entire unit. Just imagine. And uh, I started, I told you I'm not, I was not a very uh, st bright student. Eh? In high school I was bright, but somehow something happened. I was not that very bright when I was. Then I started with KTC because I did not get a strong combination to start directly with, uh, uh, doing my CPA. So I did my KTC those days. It's today, this day is called ATD, Accounting Technician Diploma. So I, there were five units. I was so psyched. What challenged me to do that uh, KTC? Uh, I observed to be very precise. I have worked as I appear now. I have worked for 25 years. You know, in my profile, I say over 20, but I have worked for 25 years. No one has been 25 years. But my first year of service, I was recruited like as an, uh, a clerk. As a clerk, uh, I was privileged to have good handwriting. And as a clerk, there was a lot of you know, writing that was entailed uh, my, from my nature of work. So my supervisor, my supervisor liked my handwriting, that when I write uh, my work, when I receive the, the story or the whatever assignment that I was given, and it was supposed to be uh, translated by someone else, that there were minimum minimal errors that were made by the translator. That worked to my disadvantage, a very big disadvantage. I worked for six years, for six months, from Monday to Sunday, without off duty, nothing, because my handwriting was the best. When I write, nobody makes a mistake, and there are no make goods. That was a problem. My good handwriting was a pro problem to me. But it worked for me. All things worked good for, all things worked together for good. For those who love that, Lord, no, So, mimi nika jipea mo, nika sema, sasa hapa, lazima ni pati strategy. What am I telling the graduates today? You have gotten a qualification, very coveted qualification. What strategy do you have to pursue the future. What strategy do you have? What is burning in you to pursue the future? How then do you achieve that strategy? You must have a vision. You must have a mission on how to achieve it. Then you break it down into simple, manageable objectives. Let me simplify that. 
By show of hands, how many are working among us the CPS, CPA finalists here? Those who are working. How many are hunting for jobs? How many are not hunting for a job? Great. Now, if you go to a job for those who are working, before you go to the qualification, then you are a candidate for promotion. But if you happen